Football team his, and all his teammates say it is definitely his club. Larry's two first carry of the game keeps the legs pumping, gets five on the and a better football team. Larry Strew looking for some running room. Bruins running game has been anemic. Cal Shelly six on the line. They give it to Drew, and he breaks through the secondary on the blitz over the 40 up to the 41 yard line. Harrison Smith makes the stop, the senior from Oakland, California. Cal just got caught on that one. And a, and a, a hole was chopped into the front. Looks like Ed Blant, number 73, number 19, Mercedes Lewis, and rolling around number 75, Robert Cleary, for the first time in his career. It's 1997. Rob well, Morris, too, back into the lineup. Now, you heard Ernie Johnson. Ernie's kick, a driving spiral. From the 28-yard line. Look out, running room. Drew has one man to beat inside the 10, inside the 5. Look at how the wall is set for Maurice Drew. He gets to it, and then he gets a nice block here, coming up. And then he turns it back inside on Harrison Smith, who helped prevent the touchdown. With great hustle by number 17, Randy Bundy. But look at the wall, it's totally set. And he just runs to each stagger point. Here's a great block there, picking up the punter Loney. That's Mercedes Lewis right there. The time isolated. Larry Strew is trying to get that running game going. In the last two games, Drew in motion. Drew gets to the outside, has some running room. Two, one, touchdown, UCLA. Harrison Smith on that play. Well, Craig Sager brought up Vince Lombardi, and here Tom Cable channeled him and said, "Power football." Two tight ends on that play go straight ahead, and Desmond <laughs> and Cal take notice. Now UCLA's got 3:58 to work with. Maurice Drew's got some running room. Breaks to the outside, inside the 30, the 25, knocked out of the 22, but we have a flag back at the 42-yard line. Thrown behind the play. Bad sign because the referee threw it, and some of that will come back. He is so exciting. Well, here's what the good part is for UCLA. If I'm not mistaken, it comes back from where the penalty That's occurred, right. correct? Mm -hmm. So it won't eat up all of the play. Holy on the offense, number one. 10 yard penalty spot on the foul, first down. Brandon Brazil is the culprit. <laughs> Trying to block, but watch Drew cut back across field. Nice cut back and getting into the open field. Look at the lineman still getting down. That was Brazil to the left of your screen, blocking on Damian Hughes. That's where the hold took place. Second down and 10. Drew stacked up. Close to the 25-yard line of the game. He's got it. Bounces to the outside. Touchdown, UCLA, with 21 seconds left in the half. Drew Olson did a nice job of leading this team. Came up with a big pass play. Got a couple of good runs from... Maurice Drew and also from Chris Martin tonight, second down and 20. On the ground with Maurice Drew. Looks for some running room. Here come the white jersey. Spins away, and he's going to be dropped. Let's see what they mark of scrimmage. Drew standing back at his 18. Loner. This time a much better kick. Tries to turn over at the 20. Drew straight up the middle. Has Loney to beat. He does. It's a foot race. Hello, touchdown UCLA.
Jeff Tedford says special teams comes down to tackling. It also comes down to kicking to one of the most dangerous return men in all of college football. He's got a 69 yarder and an 80 yarder now. And more importantly, UCLA has taken their first lead of the game. Jeff Tedford talked about we're not going to change personnel. We'll just work more on tackling. Well, I think they're going to think about personnel after tonight. Maurice Drew cements his reputation as one of the best punt returners in the country. Set them up big time all night. Back to the running game with Drew. He powers over the 25 to the 26-yard line. Pick up the ball Hawaii. You never would think that. And you laughed when you did the ass black again. I was not getting that productive tonight. It may not be all his fault. Only one reception for the Bruins. Corey's through. Now he's doing kickoffs, trying to do everything he likes. On second down and eight. Corey's through. gets up to about the 25 yard line. On first down, Corey's through. Inside the five, just keeps pushing, and you can just sense that this team's got some new life in them. Through. Close. Still pushing. Still close. No signal from the officials. They're going to mark it at about the one. Through. Kick it out of bounds somewhere. I don't give him a chance to return this. That's just me. I mean, I, know. I think I'm convinced by now. Loney back at his 34. Aims it to the left. Not Maybe enough. Not enough. Right hand Drew. From the 15. Bounces outside. Still on his feet as he takes a wallop. At the he goes up a little bit more. They don't want him to have a lot of time to throw. Tries to roll away from the pressure. Dumps it off in the flat to Maurice Drew. He's got the touchdown. No. Nope. game a measurement game well what a great call by Carl Durrell and Tom Cable the offensive coordinator they showed stacked tight formation to help pick up the blitz, the expected blitz from what from Cal and then snuck Maurice Drew out of the backfield with no one to account to account for him and he outruns Desmond Bishop the middle linebacker he can't get over and cover him there and bangs his way into the end zone for the go-ahead score. UCLA calls timeout because they're getting ready to set up for a two-point conversion opportunity, only up one. They wanted to make, a, make it a field goal to tie, not to beat them. Well, we talked to Bob Gregory, the defensive coordinator, yesterday. He said, we have two people we have to control, Maurice Drew and Mercedes Lewis. They've done one, but they have not been able to control the other. And hasn't it been quick strikes all night long? That's right. I mean, we showed that graphic in the first half about the touchdown drives, 11 seconds and 30-something mm -hmm. seconds, I think it was. This one was, what, 55 seconds? If you're Carl Durrell, though, do you go for two? Yeah, you have to. I mean, yeah. because you've got to set it up where a field goal can tie you, not beat you.